Um, yeah, you know, obviously we're very happy about the win. Um, the main thing for us was to get a defensive rhythm going. We lacked that a little bit in the first quarter, but then towards the end of the first quarter into the second quarter, we, um, we tightened our defense up. And, um, you know, that uh, defensive effort uh, gave us a chance to win the game. In those first possessions, uh, tactically, the guys were doing everything correctly, but we were not executing well enough. So um, I remember there was a switch, which was supposed to be a switch, but then we couldn't keep the guard in front. Um, we defended the possession well, contested the shot, couldn't get the rebound. Um, we didn't close out all the way aggressive enough on Marinkovic. You know, so it's uh, uh, it was like um, the, the 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 last couple percentages of. You know the execution we're missing, but again the guys uh, put it together pretty quickly now. Coach, what thoughts were running through your head during the last 45 seconds? You were up by seven with 45 seconds. What thoughts were running at that moment? Possession for possession, um, and then possession for possession. Um, you know we had to uh, kind of. Keep. Uh, no, I don't want to say fix things because you know it's it's what it's what happens. You know, or stuff happens, and in that phase you have to react uh, and you have to try to find the correct thing offensively. Um, and and you know, it's really no time to think globally or anything. You really have to go possession for possession. Quite a few mental mistakes, like goaltending got a whistle. Uh, shooting when you don't have to shoot and not shooting when you can shoot. How can this be explained? Uh, you know, um, it can be explained. Uh, first of all, obviously, like uh, we want to do that better, right? Um, uh, but I want to say also a lot of mental strong plays, especially throughout the 40 minutes, you know, keeping a team like Valencia, which is the best offensive team in the league, by efficiency, um, under 80 points, you know, um, after a tough start, um, requires a lot of mental strength, you know. So uh, I don't want to harp uh, only on the on the lapses that we had in the end. Now, um, obviously, we'll have to talk about them and 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 correct them and and learn from them. Quite different halves, offensive-wise. In the first half, it was all working, all clicking, all moving. The shots hitting and so on, second half not so much. Uh, was it something on their side that we changed something maybe? I had the feeling that they were uh, uh, more intense defensively. I had the feeling they were hawking the basketballs more, got their hands on basketballs more, tried to play more physical. Um, that's the one thing. The other thing is um, that in these tight competitions, um, you know, uh, almost like organically, teams' uh, games get a little bit slower, games get a little bit tighter, um, and, um, and um, you know, and then that kind of happens. Can you tell what was the plan for the last position? Um, the, the, I mean, you know, the plan was uh, the plan was to, to put the ball in the basket. However, you know, whether it be a two-pointer or a three-pointer, didn't really matter. Get the uh, best open shot, and um, you know, I thought they were set up very well defensively. Um, uh, they were set up very well defensively, and um, you know, at the end of the game, at the end of the day, it's a it's a game of the players. You know, Marius uh, got the basketball and and made another tough shot. You have mentioned before jokingly that just put the ball into Mario's hands at the end of the game. But just uh, how confident are you seeing him with the ball in those last couple of seconds and uh, going for that winning bucket? Generally speaking, very confident just because he has proven, and uh, he has not only proven in this season, but he has proven throughout his career that. He's um, uh, made for, you know, uh, he doesn't shy back from these shots. Um, so, uh, very confident. Um, it was important for us to give him a short break uh, with four minutes to go um, because he had been on the floor for a long time. Um, and uh, Rokas came through there, um, uh, you know, for a couple minutes, which was very important. And, um, yeah, you know, he, he had the energy in the end, and then, as we all know, he's willing to take those shots. 
Do you remember what was the reactions on the bench during that last timeout when you went from being up by seven, being down one? Was there something needed to be said to the players to keep your heads up, or did you see that it wasn't that needed? No, again, possession for possession. It was three uh, three seconds on the clock. That's a uh, good time to get a shot off. Um, so again, it's uh, you know we focused on the next uh, on the next execution of the play, um, and and I thought the guys were were tuned in. We are hearing those sounds from the locker room. What do you think is going on there? I mean, of course they're happy, right? Uh, it's it's uh, it's a big win, you know. I, again, I felt I know this uh, is sometimes difficult to say, but you know, I really felt we had a grip on the game. I really felt we deserved to win the game, and obviously the guys are happy that we that we could uh, kind of steal it back there again. Sivet, Lajibos, Lushimo, Automate, Rulete. Netsakinga, Lushimo, Galisukelte, Priklusomibe.